Hey, good morning, good morning, everybody. Happy Father's Day 2024. That's my dad cup that my uh, kids gave me. The videos that I'm doing are stories of dad for my kids and my grandkids and now Katie Glenn, my great-grandchild. Wow. I'll be 68 in July. I turned 40 and my youngest, Christina, made me a dad, a grandpa. Go figure. Anyway, this isn't about me. Well, it is about me. It's about me telling stories for my kids and my grandkids and my great grandkid and anybody thereafter because I don't like writing. So anyway, I'm with the stories, right? This one's about my dad. William E. Tarlington Jr. Grandpa was senior. My brother was number three. So Dad worked for the United States Post Office, and uh, he used to. Benny's, Benny's being funny. Benny, Benny, look at the camera. <laughs> Benny don't want to look at the camera. He wants to be part of the video. Good morning. How are you? Yes. Okay. Good morning. Uh, yes. Yes. He's telling me Happy Father's Day. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, he worked at a post office. Uh, down on Broadway, downtown Buffalo, and he would um, drove semi, and it was a flat nose type semis. He would grab an empty trail or take it out to one of the uh, printing plants or one of the manufacturing plants that had stuff to mail. Um, Arcata on George Herbert Boulevard used to do make Reader's Digest. So he'd take an empty trail and drop it off, pick up a full trail or take it down. And I don't know, I think this was the year of uh, the Blizzard 77. So anyway, he uh, he had picked up a trailer, took it out to our car. It was on the run coming back in. You're just not going to let me talk, are you? <laughs> yes, you're a good boy. Okay. Sit down. So anyway, I told you, ADHD, right? He's helping. By the way, if you don't know anything about Boston Terriers, they got a screw loose too. So he's on the way back in. Blizzard 77 is about to happen. There's a complete whiteout on Broadway. He's going down under the viaduct where the train trust, train tracks are. And something just told him to stop. He could barely see in front of him. So he stopped. He said he sat there for like two or three minutes, and all of a sudden, snow cleared, and he looked straight down, and there was a Volkswagen. He, he would have hit him. Anyway, um... One of the funniest stories that I know that I remember about dad, a lot of stories about dad, but this is Father's Day. So every year we used to go to Allegheny State Park, about 60 miles south of Buffalo. First year we rented a, or uh, borrowed a pop-up camper from mom's brother, Uncle Butch, and Aunt Betty in Buffalo, in, on Ryman. All those facts I remember, 135 Ryman Street, west side, no. Anyway, I don't remember where it was. It was. It was 135 Ryman. It was uh, South Buffalo. So we borrow. We go down. We do the camping thing. It wasn't my mom's cup of tea. There was just, I mean, first year. Uh, oh, I got to tell you this. So the first year we went down, mom packed everything. We get down there. We go to have lunch. And it's paper plates. My dad did not eat off paper plates. He didn't drink out of styrofoam paper cups. We had to, after lunch, before dinner, we had to drive into Bradford, which was, I don't remember, 16, 17 miles one way. And we bought one glass plate for my dad. I still have it packed away. It's called the Allegheny plate. Is a dark color plate because he wouldn't eat off paper plates and he wasn't, he was just particular that way. But while we were gone, the raccoons had gotten into our cooler, which was sitting outside the pop up with a rock on it. Didn't matter, they destroyed the stuff. So the next year, we ended up renting um, Creekside number two cabin. And then Buffalo Trails, and then another year we were on Gypsy Trail. Well, Gypsy Trail ran along the, uh, 
Creek and then up the hillside. Every night, we'd have this big campfire out in front of the cabin. So the cabin was here, the steps, the campfire, the creek, the hillside. So Dan and I, every year, would save up a little bit of cereal in the bottom of our, you know, say we didn't like it or something, and we kept it. So we had something to feed the raccoons. <laughs> Back then, you could feed the raccoons. That wasn't a problem. So, here we go. That campfire's going. I think it was the second night. Well, Dad was sitting on one of the benches. And don't remember where Mom was. Uh, we were sitting there roasting kind of marshmallows, waiting for the rac raccoons to come out. And my dad was sitting on the bench, and he had his arm up over the bench. And he was, you know, not paying attention, just watching us roasting marshmallows. Well, the cabin's behind him. Well, the cabin has three steps, and then the porch, and then in the door. <laughs> well, Dad wasn't paying attention. Raccoons always came from across the creek to the fire, and they were cautious when they came up. Well, here's Dad sitting here with the, his arm over the over the bench, and he's watching us. And all of a sudden, this raccoon, it came from under the cabin. And he reached up and touched my dad's hand. Whew. My dad jumped up, kind of screamed, and hang on just a second. And he screams, and he runs toward the cabin while the raccoon went the same direction. He went under the cabin. Dad went up the steps and under the porch, and I believe he went into the cabin door pretty quick from what I remember. Just, just a great time. I'm going to save the other Allegheny um, stories for later, okay? So anyway, happy Father's Day, um, 2024. This is for my kids, Jennifer Marie, Richard William, Christina Lynn, just in case somebody else is watching besides my children. And my grandkids, and I got a slew of them at the moment. I don't even want to try to remember them all, really. Yes, I do. Actually, this cup they gave me a couple years ago, and it's got their names on the kids' names on it. They gave me another cup a couple years later with everybody's name on it, including Katie Lynn. I should have that, then I could just read. You know, as you get older, you don't remember all this stuff, which is why I'm doing stories on YouTube to put on Facebook so you kids and the grandkids and Katie Lynn have something to look back at when I'm no longer here. Anyway, happy Father's Day. Y'all have a great one.